The excited Kim announces her and Kanye are expecting a girl to her family. Kim Kardashian was shown calling her family members to announce that her surrogate was pregnant with her baby. The latest episode of Keeping Up with the Kardashians saw Kim, who was also seen reading from a Daily Mail website, finally commit to picking the surrogate to have a third baby for her and husband Kanye West. Kim was shown anxiously waiting while the unnamed woman tried to get pregnant, with her sister Chloe revealing that Kim's stress was worse because she had previously tried and failed to get pregnant with an embryo herself. But Kim was then shown in white pajamas as she sat in bed, with then-assistant Stephanie Shepard, who no longer works for her, on the floor nearby, to video chat with her family to announce that her surrogate was pregnant. She first called Chloe, excitedly telling her, We're having a baby. The girl, mom Chris Jenner was then shown wiping away tears on the call, telling her daughter, I'm just so happy for you. Courtney then told her, no way. How exciting. We're going to have baby number seven. Isn't that crazy? Mom's going to have like 30 grandkids, Kim replied to her. Telling my family about this news, I mean it is that exciting feeling, like you're pregnant, Kim said later in a confessional to camera. It's the exact same feeling, especially at the beginning. However, she later told Courtney, I'm so excited, but it's kind of weird when it's not you. I don't know whether to start eating donuts and celebrate like I would, like old times, or just go to the gym. Kenny and I are like, what do we do? We can do nothing for nine months. I'm totally gonna forget, seriously. And then a month before we're gonna get OS asterisk asterisk T we need to get the nursery. She later also told Courtney that the pregnancy did not feel real, saying, The fact that this is just what we can do these days, I'm like really thankful. Like I'm seriously so grateful for her and that someone is just so light selfless and kind to do this. She later told Courtney, It is frustrating like to not be able to do it on your own. She again explained later, It is a weird dynamic. Like, I go to all the doctor's appointments and I try to be really present. But when you're not carrying it yourself it is such a fine balance of how much you're going to be in their lives. Of course I want to know every last detail that's going on with my baby and that's super frustrating. But I really trust my surrogate and I don't want to be that person that's trying to control her at every move. It's going to be a long hard process but I'm going to take it one day at a time and hopefully it just gets easier. She had later explained how they had no choice but to turn to surrogacy to add a sibling for St. and North. Kenny and I have always talked about having more kids, but I've gone through so much with really bad deliveries that the doctors don't feel like it's safe for me to carry my own babies, Kim explained. But getting a surrogate and finding someone that you really trust really is so much more difficult of a situation than you could really could imagine. You have to make sure that their lifestyle is healthy, they have to go through psychological testing. But I think everything happens for a reason because the surrogate that I really love got approved. She's such a nice person, she's so easy to talk to, she's the perfect fit for us. This particular surrogate was the best fit for our family. So we just had to go with it and try one embryo. She later called it a waiting game and so frustrating to see if the surrogate got pregnant. Telling Chloe, it's really nerve-wracking because there's only a 60% chance it will take. I mean, I tried one and I lost it. So it's just a chance. Kim and Chloe, meanwhile, failed to hide their feelings of jealousy over thinking Kylie Jenner was now their mom's favorite, and quickly tried to spoil her to win over her affection. Kim was first to show jealousy when mom Chris Jenner had to leave them to go help Kylie, with Kim saying, she's just your favorite. Yeah, and Kim's not anymore, Chloe agreed, with Kim adding, it's fine, Kylie makes more money right now. But mom anger Chris called it a horrible thing to say, smiling as she told them. This is the perfect example of why Kylie's so much nicer and why I spend so much more time with her. You give me such s asterisk asterisk t and she's so sweet to me all the time and does such nice things and cares. Kylie's just so nice to me all the time. She'll buy me little fun things to let me know she's thinking about me. She then teased Chloe and Kim as she walked off. Right now you two are tied for my least favorite. How about that? Kim and Chloe then battled it out to try to win Chris's affection, with Kim buying her her favorite cake and Chloe surprising her by organizing her pantry and even closing down sack so they could have a private shopping trip. But the sisters later realized their mom had played them, 
making up things she claimed Kylie had bought her just to get Chloe and Kim jealous enough to try to trump the made-up gifts. She's really a snake, Chloe said, admitting Chris had been manipulating us the entire time. They then gave her her favorite cake with sweet revenge written on sticks in it, and smashing it into her head. You've been manipulating all of us and using your daughters to buy U.S. asterisk asterisk tea. Chloe shouted at her, with Kim adding, you fully scammed us. If that's what it takes to get you guys to be nice to me, at least I'm smart enough to figure that out. Chris insisted, calling it life lessons after Kim said she was teaching them bribing, lying, scamming. Chloe, meanwhile, got increasingly frustrated with Sister Courtney for being so coy about her new boyfriend Young's Ben Jonathan. The teasing started when Courtney got their French personal trainer to only speak to her in his native language, but refused to admit that it was because of hunk a 24-year-old model Young's Ben Jonathan. She won't even say his name which blows my mind. She complained to Kim and Kim's then assistant Stephanie Shepard, who no longer works for her. When Stephanie said Courtney may want to play down her feelings, Chloe said, you weren't around when Scott started. She's doing the same thing ten and a half years later. Chloe later also told him, it p asterisk 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 asks me off that he won't even say his name. It blows my mind that she thinks we're blind or something. And she said to camera, Kurt's actually getting on my f asterisk asterisk asterisking nerve, just smack the stupid smile off your face. Kim and Chloe then pranked Courtney by pretending they would set her up with her actor Chris Hemsworth, telling her he was the most perfect guy for you and calling him tall, he has the best body, he has two kids, he has like a 12-pack. We are totally testing court, we do not even know this guy, Kim had admitted. He's probably married. But we're totally just using a hot guy to bait her. If she won't go with him then she definitely has a boyfriend. I don't go on dates. Courtney told her sister, explaining, I don't want to sit there and go, how old are you? I'm really busy this week. I have a lot going on. However, she still refused to open up about Yams, with Chloe again saying, she's so weird. Chloe was later blunt with her sister about her feelings when Chloe smiled as she texted him, but still refused to talk to her despite Chloe pointing out his name is all in the press. How old are you? Three. She asked her. You're not saying the name, that's so f asterisk 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 king stupid. Okay, so say the f asterisk 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 king name, but shut me f asterisk asterisk k up. Courtney snapped back, with Chloe angrily stressing, it's the name, I'm not telling her to tell me his d asterisk ck size and what the f asterisk asterisk k she doing in the bedroom. Like, get over yourself. It's so strange. She finally smiled when her sister asked if she officially had a boyfriend, and Courtney smiled, sure, Chloe, that's news to me, Kim, and stuff. You've never said this, Chloe smiled as her sister blushed at her confession. Kim, meanwhile, had a less than proud moment when she asked, what the f asterisk asterisk k is Yiddish? It's like British. Wait, Yiddish is a real thing. It's not like gibberish.